Oh my, oh hey, oh, look, hi. the folks in TV land have just joined us well, by the miracle of, of television. television. Isn't it wonderful? Hi everybody, how are you? I am fine. <laughs> <laughs> we sort of look like those two old geezers that do that uh, Bartles and James. Oh, thing. I know. Yeah. I'd like to do that, be the one what? that didn't have to memorize any lines. I'd just like to drink their product. <gasps> Blasphemous. No. Utterly blasphemous. Don't you give me that blasphemous? I've seen what you, I can't <laughs> even say can't it. Even I've say seen it. what you drink. Blasphemous. Yeah. 702, show 702, right. we got a good one. This is yes. food for a nippy day. Right. If it's cold in your territory, and even if it isn't, this is a good show. There's some nice stuff on here. I, I actually uh, like what I cooked up. <laughs> Well, good. I'm, I'm proud. Delicious. I'm proud of you. We have some letters from around the, the world. world. Uh, they've been pouring in here. <laughs> oh, I have this because you can always use an extra hand around the kitchen. <laughs> oh, anyway, give me a break. Well, what well, do you anyway, got? Well, hi. I love your down-to-earth humor. It helps to make my day. The food looks so good. Mm. I can hardly wait to try it. Sincerely, Grace Freyer. Well, thank you, Grace. Grace just goes to show how wrong you can be sometimes. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And I, I enjoy your program so much. I love your sh uh, sense of humor as much as I enjoy your recipes. Uh. I would really like any recipes that you have done on your show. Would you pick out a few more of anything and send it in addition to the one I've asked for? We'll see what from we Judy Hardy. But, uh, we, we'll try, but you know, if we add extra recipes in your envelope, it will cost you extra money when the postman rings twice. He's so strict. Well, no, we'll be glad to do it, but just be prepared to pay for it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> You want me to read one? Well, I think it'd be real nice. Gentlemen, I so enjoy your cooking show. In fact, uh, when you are on in the evening, apparently wherever uh -huh. they see this is in the evening, I can even persuade my non-cooking husband to watch also. We both appreciate your non-glitzy attitude. <laughs> so that's what it is. May I please have a copy of the recipes you gave on this show? Oh, well, it gives yeah. a show number, and that's very important that you do that. I'm closing self-dressed stamped envelope and $600. <laughs> Linda Richards. <laughs> and look, Margaret $600. Ekstrom sent in this lovely, attractive note to us on this lovely <laughs> floral oh, tribute card. It's a floral <laughs> tribute card. It's so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Margaret, and oh, we appreciate time, it. One time, darling. Gentlemen, I'd like the two candy recipes I saw on our PBS station this past Sunday. I hope it was our show. <laughs> I really enjoyed the show and glad your recipes are not far out ones we cannot afford or something like that. Thanks, yours truly, and Mrs. R.J. Well, how do you say that? Merton. 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 Thank well, we you. always enjoy getting yes. sweet letters from yes. people. Yes, this one, is, I, is this, oh, me? another real nice one. Uh, this is cooking sheep. I am a handicapped person who cooks gourmet for myself. I enjoy all the cooking programs on Saturdays. The two co cooks on Cooking Cheap have some interesting recipes, but they are buffoons, slobs, and are crude at times with their, what is that, innuendos. <laughs> Why not keep to the cooking methods? Yours truly, should I say the, the name? Well, might as well. Dorothy Saunderson of uh, Centerville, I believe that is, Virginia. Well, Dorothy. Well, Dorothy, thank you very much. I always enjoy being called a buffoon. <laughs> and a slob. And a slob. You're real sweet, And Dorothy. you're right, we are both of those, and we're right proud of it, to yes. be honest with you. But anyway, we like to hear from you, good or bad, right. and goodness knows we will. Those other cooking shows are a dime a dozen. You come here to get <laughs> and, the truth. And so is ours. <laughs> but anyway. Speaking of dimes. And a dozen, let's go right. to the kitchen and see that's, what we're going to do Matter of fact, here. that's the total amount of our salary increase for this year. I'm going to get rid of this. It was good for a chuckle or two. I know the staff was amused. That, of course, they're usually amused. <laughs> Ooh, that's such anyway. a gross looking hand. Well, let's get oh. rid of it. I've been boiling some potatoes while we were over there just shooting oh, the breeze because okay. I didn't want to have to stand around here and wait for potatoes to boil. I think that's real silly. Oh, yeah. I'm going to make a cheesy potato soup today is what I'm going to do. And so went on ahead and I got me some nice uh, potatoes and uh, about uh, two cups full. I believe it's two cups diced peeled them, diced them, put them in a little water with a little salt, and I have been boiling them to soften them up a little bit. But uh, that's all I'm going to do for just this moment till we get a little organized. We're going to go to Mr. Johnson. What are you making today? I'm making uh, cheesy, spicy muffins. Well, we certainly and have a lot of cheesy, wheezy good. stuff. This I must know. be, we should have called this the Cheesy Wheezy Show. Uh-huh. Well, it's because we're so cheesy around here. Could I have the greater? No. 
<laughs> of course you can. Did I you expect swear. me to say no? I expected you to say yes, sir. I will be glad to give it to you. But oh no, I have to grade about <laughs> about a. You're right about that. <laughs> I have to grade about a cup of this sharp cheddar and make sure that it is sharp cheddar. And you'll notice that we are not. We actually do the work on our show. We don't have. You know, I've been watching some of those shows on around well, here. Well, we used to have a cast of midgets come in and do it. Yeah, and they were but, so good uh, about it, and they had all these mechanical things, but we have to do it the hard way, so yeah, we do we, it ourselves. We yeah. can't afford all those electronic conveniences. But I've got a, a, a cup of sharp cheddar all grated out here. And Mr. Bly, I'll give you back the grater because oh, I know well, you so use nice it so much. You, Mr. Now could I have the, uh, what the, else do you the need? measuring cup? What's it worth to you? Oh, oh, I'm just hoping I could get an extra dollar or two out of this show. But well, no, now this is two cups. This show. Two cups of self-rising flour. Yeah. I got to chop up some onions and celery oh, while you're oh, doing okay. that. So you just go right, right on here. Two hit. cups of self-rising flour, and I'm going to put the the sharp cheddar down in the flour, and then I'm going to get a teaspoon of dry mustard. That. So there, there it goes. Now I'll put a little bit in for just good luck. I don't think that looked like it was enough. Keep your flour out of the way. And I will need a half a teaspoon of chili powder. Now this is not a real hot chili powder, so I'm going to put in just a little bit more because I want the spicy taste to come through. You know, I got real nervous one cold winter's day last winter, and I went out and bought myself some chili powder because I couldn't find any. Mm -hmm. And then I got real nervous a couple of weeks after that, and I went out and bought myself some more chili powder. And a couple of weeks ago, I started cleaning out one of my closets, and I found seven containers of <laughs> chili powder. Probably this has happened to you. Oh, absolutely. I have I a little up. itsy bitsy kitchen, as does Mr. Johnson, and everything kind of gets piled up in it. Well, you know that, and around here I'm in, in our these onions. In I'm our, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. In our Go. TV kitchen, the well, same thing happens. We have three cans of dry mustard mm -hmm. here and on the set. But anyway, now I'm just tossing this cheese in the self rising flour and the spices so that the cheese will be separate when we add the liquid ingredients, which separate, I'm going to do right now. but equal. Separate, but equal. I'm now, chopping up uh, onions and celery, and I'm throwing it into this boiling cauldron. That's ooh. not exactly a cauldron, it's just a pot of water. And I'm going to boil all those for a little bit to soften them up a bit. And while he's doing that, I'm going to break an egg down in this other bowl. <laughs> There's well, you sound so committed to well, it. Well, I certainly am, you know. Mm. What can I say? There's Nothing. the egg in that bowl. <laughs> Nothing right. can say. Egg in the bowl. Now I'm going to whisk it up. I don't know why I couldn't whisk it down, but. Right smartly done, Mr. Johnson. Uh, Smacking those eggs around. You know, I was teaching a class of little elementary school children several weeks ago how to break an egg uh -huh. and it was a scream. I wish you could have seen it. I'll them. bet their parents appreciated it when they oh, got home. Oh, I know they did. I, I know said, you sent that one Does home. your mama ever let you break an egg? No, sir. And then after he broke the egg, I saw why. Mm -hmm. Lord, it went all over him in the next three counties. People are always accusing Johnson and I of throwing their children off in the wrong direction. And it is so true. So they all want to go to the kitchen and try the things they see here on the television. There's nothing I can do about it. I have some, some uh, celery, and I'm going to throw that in that two and a half cups of water, boiling water, a little salt, pepper in there. I'm going to put that in there with those potatoes, and we're boiling all that. And while we're doing all that, I am heating on an adjacent but equally uh, equal pan here next to it over here. I have some margarine. This is a quarter of a cup, which comes out to a half a stick of margarine, and I'm heating that up real good because in a couple of minutes, old Lair is going to make a roux. A what? A roux. Well, isn't that an herb? No. Oh. No, no, nothing like Parsley, that. Parsley, sage, rosemary, thyme, and, and roux. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, now I've added a cup of milk to this mixture over here, <laughs> and <laughs> I'm also adding a quarter of a cup of 
salad oil. Ooh. Good old salad and oil. I'll just mix all this together. And then I'm going to mix the contents of these two bowls together and toss them around a little bit so that all the dry ingredients are wet, but you don't beat it up because you'll ruin the recipe if you do that. Larry? I got real nervous one day and I ran out and I bought myself some celery. <laughs> no, I'm not going to start this story again. Anyway, I've got all this stuff boiling in here. And I want to apologize today for the sad condition of my parsley. But parsley is a little out of season at the time this program is being done, 1812 uh, A.D. And so this stuff is a little bit on the sad side. Normally I have my own parsley garden, but it's gone over. It's oh. finished. It's crossed the Great Divide. It's a memory. Let me cut that back. It's flying <laughs> everywhere all over the stove. Help me, Rhonda. Help, help, help me, Help me, Rhonda. Help me. Okay, now while that's boiling there for just a little while in a large pot, now you, what we're doing is the potatoes, the onions, the celery, and boiling water. Isn't that exciting? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, now what we're going to do is simmer that for 15 minutes. I guess that's not much of a simmer. That's more of a boil, isn't it? Now what we're going to do is, uh, in a saucepan, melt butter and mix in flour. Just enough to make a nice little roux. Were you signifying to me? He's always signifying He says there are us. no towels in the men's room. Why no. do they come to me with these problems? I don't know. Okay, we're going to... I need to get a spoon. Excuse me a sec. Now I'm back. I'm trying to figure out. It says a quarter of cup all-purpose flour. Pay no attention to that. Just go with the flow. <laughs> Oh. I do whatever it takes to get the job done. Oh, this is already looking pretty. You know, I've gotten real good at making gravies and roux since I've been on this program. I always did make a mean gravy, but I wasn't ever much on roux before I met <laughs> Mr. Johnson. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you uh, learned something. Uh, uh, yeah, I have. I've learned a lot from this television show, like how little you can make in television. All right, all those people that just think we're making thousands of dollars. And we're going to brown that a little bit. You mean we're not? Well, that's rather interesting looking. Why does it look so orange? Because it's got cheese in it, fool. Oh, <laughs> well, I guess he told me. Well, I mean, you ask a question like that, you're bound to get an answer. I'm going to brown that just a little bit because it'll make it real pretty. What we got to do is thicken it, you see. Oh, while he's doing that, I've got my little I muffin. I need to turn pan. it up hotter. It's not hot enough. It's it's not hot enough. Can and I'm greasing my, up, my muffin tins Your here. Your oven pan. My oven pan. <laughs> <laughs> he's grieving his oh, greasing his oven. And now I'm going to try to fill each one of these little cups up about two-thirds full. Uh-huh. Unfortunately, the little cups aren't uh, grated grade jaded so that you know how much you got in there but that they're not eyeballing it that's about two-thirds full I need the uh, measuring cup back oh, well, while you're doing here. that well he has left <laughs> it's kind of corrupt mess in there well you know that's sometimes when you start out you don't mean it but it just ends up that way Oh, this is such a mess. That is a mess, Johnson. I think there must be a better way to do that than you have done it. Well, if I was at home, I'd put all this in a pitcher and pour it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst mess I've ever seen in my life. Well, it keeps I wouldn't miss this for the world. I'm just going to stand here and watch you do it. <laughs> Normally, I'd have other things to do. Let me well, try. This hole isn't hot enough. Something well, we wrong. got everything running today. I'm still contending that we don't get our full share of electricity, electricity in here. I believe you're right. Maybe if the show was making more money, mm -hmm. we could get an extra kilowatt or two out of it. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> but as it is, now what I got to do next? I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> <laughs> I need to add something, and I'm all nervous and don't know what it is. I need to add a little pepper. Just a little bit of pepper. Ooh, this. this oven is fiery hot. Fire a furnace, a little pepper, a little salt, measuring carefully. Uh, the flour's in there, there's a little dry mustard, about a half teaspoon of dry mustard. That's the greatest plenty. Perhaps a little more. 
and one and a half teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. And some milk. I forgot to put milk in. We need, uh, how much milk do we need? Two cups of milk, because that stuff's going to thicken. There's one right there. Well, Lord, look at it go. Well, I believe that's greatest of plenty. All right. Now, we're going to have to run that stuff up until it thickens a bit. You mean just like a flag? Just about. So what I've, I've got it on hot heat now. I mean, it doesn't get no hotter than what I've got it at right now. This is it. This is as hot as it gets. And we're going to thicken that stuff. And then we're going to add some other goop here in a couple of minutes and throw in it. Maybe while we're waiting for that to boil and thicken up a little bit, what else do I need in there? I need just a little bit of parsley and dill weed. I'm going to add a little bit of dill weed and a little parsley. And I will just take some and chop it up, this highly attractive droopity uh, parsley. Let's see what, uh, what, what the ingredients are for this program while we're waiting for all this nonsense to come about. What say? Now, don't worry if you can't write it down too fast because we'll send it to you under certain conditions. <laughs> <laughs> if you're lucky, if you're nice. The cheesy potato soup, two cups of diced peeled potatoes, cup chopped onions, one uh, half cup chopped celery, two and a half cups boiling water, two teaspoons salt, quarter cup margarine, quarter cup all purpose flour, a half teaspoon pepper, and a partridge in a pear tree. Is that it? A half uh -huh. teaspoon dry mustard, one and a half teaspoons Worcestershire sauce, two cups of milk, eight ounce sharp cheddar cheese grated, please, a teaspoon of parsley, a cup of canned tomatoes, which I'm working on right now, and a little bit of dill weed. All right, there you go. Now the spicy muffins are two cups of self-rising flour, a cup of sharp cheddar cheese grated, a teaspoon of dry mustard, a half teaspoon of chili powder, an egg, a cup of milk, and a quarter cup of vegetable oil. You mix them together and you've got a fine muffin. You have to cook them incidentally for 18 minutes in a 425 degree oven. Now, look at this. I want you to see this. This pretty? Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Gorgeous. I said, look at that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice and thick. I'm getting ready to put the last of the stuff in there, which will be about eight ounces of cheddar cheese. Very sharp cheddar would be very nice. And I'm gonna add the tomatoes and then I'm gonna dump everything else into it and it should be real nice if it doesn't burn up first. This is the hectic portion of the program. Oh boy, look at this. Isn't this exciting, Things sports fans? Just go. Oh, Lord. There goes a blob of cheese. Down into the electric eye. It's amazing. We'll be smelling that for a month, boys and girls. Okay, there's that. Now you're going to mix that all in there while it's still hot. Let me and we're going to put the rest of this stuff in here. Oh, wait a minute. Too. We've got serious problems over here, Blind. What's wrong? Well, look. Mix it all together at this point. I think we found the, the, the uh, television studio safe behind a false front. Oh, here. no, don't look. tell me. The whole front look, of the, the whole front of our sink, of our sink has Long. come off. How humiliating. Now, let what me see. Next? Let me give it a. a ooh, sorry. Let me give it a. I learned that on wrestling. <laughs> That's a super kick. Kill it. Kick it. I've seen many a man go down to the count with one of those. Uh -huh. I'm taking some of these ordinary, common, everyday old tomatoes uh -huh. sliced up, and I'm slicing them a little bit more because the first time I did this recipe at my home, I kept coming across great big clumps of tomato, oh. whole tomato. And you and didn't favor that, huh? Just, just irritating as a dickens. Look at that. Isn't that looking oh, interesting? Oh, yeah. That really does look good. Oh, it's very colorful, too. And mm -hmm. you just know it's good. I think I need to put a little more cheesy in there. Yeah, probably so. I'm going to do that in just a minute. Right. Cheese is still melting throughout. You know, what I, you'll do is, is, is have this stuff simmering for a while so that all these wonderful mm -hmm. flavors mm. go throughout. Oh, Isn't that beautiful? could you put that in the blender and puree it? Oh, no. My heavens, you wouldn't want to do that. Oh, okay. Oh, my gracious. Don't even mention it. Well, I just thought maybe it might oh, be a Oh, heavens, don't ever say it again in my presence. Well, I mean, what if you didn't have any teeth or anything? Well, this is all soft. Oh. Because by the time it gets you to mean this you point, could gum this you could soup? gum this soup. <laughs> you could gum this stuff. <laughs> 
till who laid the rail, <laughs> as you always like to say. Uh -huh. So anyway, well, we're about ready on that. Do we have any letters while yes, we're waiting for this I, mess? I think uh, Miss Witch said that one had come in this week and that she would bring it in. All right, Witchy. Witchy. Come oh, on in, you old witch. Witchy. Oh, oh she, she did a fly over. She did Woo! a fly by. I believe she drops up in my suit. <laughs> I think it was the end off in her broom. <laughs> Let's see what this says. Dear Laban and Larry. Yeah? My name is Missy, and I am seven years old. I was wondering if you could tell me why some sheep are black. I have never seen one, but I love the poem about them. You know, Bob, Bob, black sheep, have you any wool? Well, yes, sir, yes, sir, too. Yeah, yeah. And do you have any recipes for a seven-year-old girl? And this is from little Missy Boudreau of <laughs> Bell Me, Louisiana. <laughs> Missy Boudreau. Well, Missy, yes, we do. And next week, we'll, uh, we'll try to do something that would be suitable for your personage. You know, for your size and age uh -huh. and everything. Uh -huh. Little Missy Boudreau. Missy Boudreau. <laughs> She's a good girl. Uh-huh. Well. Well, are you ready, Bly? It's Re just let me about, get, it's been well, summer along. <laughs> it says summer for a few minutes. But you could summer it longer than that if you want to, especially if you have four more minutes on your program. Wait a minute. Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> I believe they're back there I playing I think they're with back them. in there playing Look at that. Them. Isn't that pretty? That's just full of loveliness. They're back in there playing with that thing. It's a little, they got new equipment and they're just trying it out. Look at these. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at these. Well, now. I look at mine first. I'm well, sure the I'll mine's swear. Awesome. <laughs> Oh, okay. Look well, yours those. is equally gorgeous. Aren't they beautiful? That is just now, full of Now, this is a previously baked uh, pan, but uh, I can prove these other ones are doing good, too. Oh, startling inside shot from Here oven. Here we go. Boink. They're, oh, my heavens, risen they up are, and they oh, look, look fabulous. At They're just full of gorgeousness. The staff will get to eat those because yes. it's fresh. Well, let's take our soup and them things okay. over into our lovely dinette. Oh, I don't believe we have any uh, spoons. Oh, how humiliating. <laughs> We're going to have to drink this with a straw. I'll be back if you're lucky. It's, he had to go, and, oh boy, this does look good. I can't wait. When I've tried this cheesy soup before, and I can tell you it is a delight. Would you care for a Looks like a we kind of overdid it on the plates today. Are these hot? Yo! <laughs> Not really. They're warm. But they're warm. And they do look real pretty. They have a real nice color to them. Mm -hmm. I guess that's a the cheese. Mm -hmm. mm, and they do have a nice cheesy uh, smell to them. Uh, put a little butter on here. Actually, this is margarine because Johnson, eh, no one to get into it. But anyway. Mm. Oh, this is real good. That's quite nice. Quite nice. This soup is excellent. Well, let me try a little of it out. This is unusual, adding a little cheese to a potato soup. I think it kind of does something to it, sparks it up a little. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And that dill gives it a nice little, nice little extra flavor. Well, I think that we've uh, done right well for ourselves mm -hmm. here today. These um, muffins are so easy to do, any fool could do them. Well, I know. Even that woman that <laughs> called us a slob earlier. <laughs> muffins. Or some, you know, I don't bake a lot of breads. Mm -mm. Because no, anytime you hear someone say bake bread, you kind of think there's a lot of work to it. Well, you know, if you bake it, you're bound to eat it, and that's mm. my trouble. I just love good hot homemade bread. But this is nice and simple to make, and it's delightful too. <clears throat> so you shouldn't shy away from it too much. And it's so easy to do that you could keep these ingredients on hand. And if you're snowbound during the winter or it's too cold for decent people to go outside the house, you could whip up on this recipe and just sit back and snuggle in the sofa with oh, your honey. Oh, for heaven's sakes, get over it, Johnson. read a good book. Good gracious. Mm. That's good, folks. Well, that's about it for us, well, I guess. We'll be back uh, next week. Will we? Well, sometime. Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess we will. I Sometimes With I forget. the Iron Black Sheep Show, Bob, Bob. The Black Sheep Show? Mm hmm What are the specific recipes we're going to do? I, I would rather not say. Oh. <laughs> we'll In other see words, you. he forgot. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.